Dak Prescott has thrown nine interceptions this season, five in the last three games. Jerry Jones was asked about this trend. He told 105.3 the fan, quote, interception concerns can neutralize great execution and effort in other parts of the game. The definition of aggressiveness doesn't have to include turnovers. Hmm, Shannon, do you like or do you have a problem with what Jerry said there? Well, I got a big problem because I don't understand what's the thing game. You know, that is his quarterback. And I get it, Skip. You know, hey, how about, you know, hey, we got We have to uh, 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 limit our turnovers because while, you know, obviously we want to push the ball down the field, we like the big play potential that we have with Dak Prescott, but we just got to make sure we keep the ball out of harm's way because when you play these teams, if you turn the ball over, you allow a team that you're considerably better than to hang around with an opportunity to beat you late in the ball game. And come playoff time, you pay double for turnovers. You turn the ball over, more the, the, the more you turn it over, the greater your chance is to lose that ball game. Cowboys saw this last year when they played the San Francisco 49ers. They had the turnover. They ended up ended up costing being the difference in the ball game. But Skip, for him to say, "Well, I like aggr I like aggressiveness without turnovers," who doesn't? But in order to Skip, Allah, I give you Tom Brady versus Patrick Mahomes. Tom Brady is really conservative. He only has five interceptions, but he only has 16 touchdowns. Patrick Mahomes on the flip side, he has 33 touchdowns. 11 interceptions. Now, which offense would you rather have? A guy that pushes the ball down the field? You saw what you had with Cooper Rush. You, you played that style. You're not winning with the style that Cooper Rush forced you to play. Although he did win. He, he, he won, what, four out of five? But go ahead. Do you So you believe, uh, let me ask you a question. You believe you can win a Super Bowl, get to a Super Bowl with Cooper Rush? I, I'm not writing that completely off, but the defense would have to play like the Ravens did in what was it, yeah. 2000. You'd but have to play at that kind of level. We just we just saw them go 20, give 25 points, give 20 something points up to a team that hadn't scored more than 20 since week seven. So are you sure? No. Because the Ravens that year gave up 10 points a game. There there have been times this year I have been sure of that, but right now <laughs> I'm not completely sold on my defense either. So I give you that. And plus, Skip. You got CD, a CD or bus. Now, CD pulled a disappearing act for you. He had five for 33. That can't be your number I'll one. I'll five, but it needs to be for 85, and, okay. like, like T.Y. Hilton had against Dallas back in 2018. And, and maybe a touchdown, a yeah. sprinkle of touchdown in there, Skip. But when you're at, when your leading receiver is Dalton Schultz and your number one receiver is CD Lamb, there's something out of place here. I mean, he, look, he, I think he's nice. I like him. He's a great receiving tight end. But he ain't Travis Kelsey. He's not Mark Andrews. He is not. So for him to be your leading receiver. All that I love about him is that Dak loves him. That's all I know. But <laughs> go that, ahead. But, Skip, I, I just think the thing is, I, I just think Jerry sometimes can be his own worst enemy because I don't really get his end game. I don't know what he hoped to accomplish. He's like, oh, yeah, that's going to really pep Dak up. That's yeah. going to really light a fire up on the Dak. Dak's going to like, man, I wish you'd be quiet because you heard Dak after the game. Skip, he said, no, nah, I just got to do a better job of protecting the football. Mm -hmm. That's on me, and I will do a better job. Yep. But, Jerry, come on, bro. Everything that's on your mind, mm -hmm. you don't have to say it. <laughs> okay, okay, but – what else is new? Uh, it's, it's like another day, another Jerry head scratcher. Like, there's nothing he said that was wrong. No. In fact, all he did was acknowledge the elephant in the room. Yes. Who is my quarterback. Yes. Who's on a, a bad run here with the interceptions because he's played, what, eight games eight, this eight, year, eight, and eight, he's had eight, nine eight, interceptions mm -hmm. in eight games. And it's a... It's a bad trend. It's not just a blip. It's, it's a trend where every game he has a couple of interceptions, it feels like. And they're scary interceptions where they're, they're dangerous. They're, they're forced interceptions. Right. And everything Jerry said was correct. But to your point, it does you exactly what good. <laughs> if, if Dak were, were just brazenly not acknowledging, like saying, I'm playing great, if he just kept saying, no, I'm... I'm Zach Wilson. Yeah, yeah like that. No, I'm good. Like, yeah, no. like, I'm good. But, but that's not what he's doing no. because he was actually his own worst critic yes. after the game because